Welcome guys, in this educational PUBG series, I will show you the end game of different games followed up by an in-depth analysis and the explanation of every important thing I did to ensure the win. A lot of people rarely get in the final one versus one, let alone the top five. So let this add to your experience or at the very least inspire you to improve your end game gameplay. Today's game is a solo game on Miramar, where I end up in a circle with just one compound in the middle. I'm not a big fan of this position though. Being this open. Let's see what we what can we do here? We need to find a car. Um some kind of transportation to get to a good position. Okay. A good compound there. I would like to go there. I might just try to get there on foot. <laughs> definitely, uh. Yeah, you know, with Eric, definitely got not gonna be easy. Well, that depends if people are shooting at me, actually. I got one smoke. My concern is that if someone is up there... Worst thing that can happen right now is that I get uh, caught in a gunfight out here against someone that's up there. And then I'll get shot from here. Because that will make me unable to get into cover. Unless I kill one of them. Hmm. Ha! Can I get the airdrop? I would say maybe. But I'm, I'm not going to go for it because I have no, no vehicle. Hello there, beautiful. Someone looting that. Probably not. But I do have my eyes on it right now. Ooh, look at that circle. It's right on this compound. This is the circle center right now. That's pretty sick. Oh, oh. MG3. That's the MG3 from earlier as well. I, I'm pretty sure. It has to be. Uh, what are we doing here? Am I staying here? Or am I going up there? I'm staying here. I'm staying here. I'm just going to play this for the end game. This is nice. Now I can't get shot from the sides. No. Man, I missed. So, do I want to try to gatekeep that guy? No. More like these guys that's going to be coming from over here. Okay, let's see if I can do this. Oh, it didn't stop there? gonna go to the other window and that's more logical okay get some ammo maybe nice
Okay. He got the kill with his sniper. I gotta be careful. I'm thinking about where is this MG3 guy? I don't remember his name, unfortunately. And I don't I haven't paid attention if he's dead. But he might be alive and he's gonna be up here if he's alive. There he is. That's the MG3. I could see the gun he was holding. Hmm. It's the matter of this guy now. He can one-shot headshot me. And he already killed someone uh, with his sniper, so... He probably knows what he's doing with that thing. No! Good nade. Yeah, I messed up vaulting out of the window. GG, guys. That was a bad play, but we got him. So obviously I'm playing this to win uh, this end game. It's pretty obvious, right? So I, I have the sense of circle. Great. Uh, we already saw that early on, right? Uh, that's not that's not any ro that's not rocket science. When you see a circle like this, this is where you want to go. That compound. What is this? Yeah, this is where you want to go. So that's pretty obvious. Is yeah, it's the center. So that means we get this. Look at this. Because I went there and I prioritized that. Everybody just around the edge. Like, look at this thing. But I'm here. And already here looking to win the game by having position. So, simply put, if I can stay in this compound and prevent anyone from going to this compound, just attack everybody and everything that tries to get to the compound, then I will most likely win. So that is what I try. And that is what you should be trying in a situation like this. All right. Let's just move a little bit forward. I was I was taking some shots there, and very important right now. Uh, this was uh, this is a huge problem in a building like this. Is if you stand up, you can get sniped from the side, but I couldn't get sniped in this case because I was prone like this, and I can still see what I'm what I want to shoot at. So I'm really happy with this position right here. Very happy with this, and it allowed me to take some shots at this guy. That un unfortunately I missed it, but anyway, I, I like this. So just about staying here. This guy, he's trying to get to the compound. This guy must not get to the compound. So the moment you hear the footsteps, attack. Don't be passive. A lot of people just stay prone, be passive. Don't do that. If he gets, if he gets into your building and he hears you, he's going to start throwing nades and all kind of stuff. And you're going to be in a building versus like building fight. And it's going to be bad. Bad. You got to kill him before he gets there. So just jump, drop everything you have except your gun and shoot this guy right away. Very important. Threat eliminated. Um, very important. At this point, we're just trying to shoot at people, okay? This is everything and anything I see trying to shoot at them. I do know about the MG3 guy. We identified that threat, that that is a problem. MG3, deadliest gun in the game. Y you gotta be careful here. Um, you gotta be careful with that gun. So... We, we gotta have some kind of idea where he is. That's why I was a little bit unhappy that I didn't remember his name. Because I didn't keep track of when he died and stuff like that. Right? Anyway. I expect him to come from up there on the high ground. Which is also why I stay in this part of the uh, compound. I could have gone to the other part to try to kill these guys that I knew were there. But it's more important to try to kill the MG3 guy as he is running in the open. Way more important. Okay? Way more important because he's the he's the biggest threat right now. Of course, car comes in. Priority, like I just told you, you gotta make sure that this guy does not get into the compound. Eliminate him. You don't want some guy lurking around in buildings and throwing nades and like sneaking and peeking from windows. No, 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 no. You gotta like do everything you can to kill him. Quickly. Pressure them really hard. 
14. I miss all these shots. I thought he was going to stop right here. So I just jump out. We just hunt him down. Full pressure. We got to get this guy. It's so important. Not even reloading. Just go for him. I know I heard him. Now I just want to... He can't move to the... Like, he can't move upstairs. The stairs are here. So we know he's on the bottom floor, right? So just about nading everything here. I thought he was going to go over here. Because he might expect a grenade here. But he's staying in the middle. And since this is not hitting him, um, I just want to put a nade here and have him run, run over in the other window. Well, we'll shoot him. So either he chooses the nade or getting shot. So that's why you do this underhand nade. Just put it right there. He's going to move over here or stay with the nade. And we can kill him. Like a very simple move, but, but it works. And it, 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 it works very well. But there was a guy in that building. Okay. I just, I didn't see that. I was like, is there a guy in that building? Oh, crazy. I didn't see that. Um, yeah. Same. We got the compound. I'm just going to skip ahead a little bit. Because right now, the MG3 guy is still the thing I, I was thinking about. We know this guy here is a sniper. And also important to identify that this guy, Sirhat, he just killed someone with his M M24. So he's probably pretty capable of using that gun. And he's probably also not a bad player. Most people that get sniper shots probably aren't terrible. So we got to be careful with that. We got to have some respect for that. But still, MG3 guy it, it is what we need to find. And I expect him to run down the hill. I expect him from the open, which is exactly why I look here right now. That is why I spot him, because I'm looking for him. And we find him. Don't shoot here. Very important, because what is he going to do? He's going to run to the rocks. So you got to wait a little bit before you start shooting. Make sure he's in such an open position that he will not be able to run anywhere um, when you start shooting at him. Like that. Now there's only one guy left. And looking at the circle, he needs to come to me, right? He needs to come to me. It's a tough situation for him. But he does have that one-shot headshot potential. So you gotta, you gotta be careful here. And... Obviously, we're just waiting for him at this point. I'm just trying to spot him. He, he's doing a really good job by getting both into the circle, but also in a, in a spot where I barely saw him. Uh, yeah, I'm mainly looking there. And as the circle starts to move, and I don't see any movement from these rocks, then I, I move focus. Well, he's not going to be at those rocks if the circle is moving and no one is visible, right? So he's got to have already moved to the right. And that is why I look there and boom, there he is. There he is. Kind of hard to see, but also not that hard to see. And you can see he's already in a shooting position. That's why we want to take quick shots, get away. <laughs> boom. Don't, don't hold that peak because we already know he's got that, that sniper. Really important information. So you want to shoot quickly. And the goal here is to hurt him. Hit him once, maybe. Um, or get him to unpeak. The best thing you can do, hit him once, force him to go to cover, let him heal, change position, surprise him somewhere else. And this is my problem right now. I am not hitting him. So I shouldn't bolt out here. Bad, bad play. If I hit him in a headshot, he's going to heal and I can do this. Right now, he sees me. I almost die. And now, what is he going to do, guys? What is he going to do? What would you do? He's doing the exact same thing, you see? Exactly what I want to do to him. He want to hit me, so I will heal, allowing him to cross the road. Right? That is exactly what he wants. So, I pretty much know that this guy, he's going to be on the road right now. So, I don't have time to heal. We attack him with half HP. That's the best play right now. Don't heal. Healing here, bad. Not peeking here because he's holding his spray. I'm vulnerable. I know I hit him a lot. But he's moving a little bit quicker than I thought. And I miss him here. Obviously not that good. And now we just kind of nade this guy, right? Very important. But he also nades right there. So just get in cover and close the door quickly. And I naded him as well. His nade. That's my nade. He's nading there. So yeah, and that, then that's the end. So this guy was a good player. But it's, it's you see how predictable it is? Um... That's it. GG.